exciting because um, when we talked about really drilling down and how might we um, identify this group, it was the shared leadership team in one building that really said, you know what, um, let's create a template in a flow chart. And they talked about their SMART goals. So they created a SMART goal sheet for the small group. Um, what's even more exciting in another building that I shared the same strategy with, they're all saying, well, what is our school goal next year? And they identified the problem of practice, and I should really say in our two other buildings, that um, data-driven instruction is going to be their school-wide goal. And a part of that at the strategy is a SMART goal. But in all three buildings, the teachers have all identified that they want to uh, write their professional growth goals around use of data. And they are deciding what component or what element within that they want to develop further. And they are celebrating the fact that they're starting to see how all of these systems are coming into play. So we've created a um, backward mapping where each teacher is going to identify their gold standard of where they want to be at the end of the year, what their benchmark criteria of success is going to be, and begin of the year where they're going to be. And then the principals are going to work with the teachers through their evaluation model to say, okay, if this is your professional growth goal, um, what can I do to help you? And then we'll use our learning walks to progress monitor but that'll be a way that our principals can provide more direct feedback to teachers to help them grow their capacity.